Hi, I'm Nick Sims with Specialized. We're here at the Interbike booth uh, and we're here with Fabian Cancellara's SL3. What you have here is the yellow SL3, only available if you win a stage in the tour and take the jersey. Um, but for the average consumer, you can have an SL3. A couple of the things that we've done this year on the SL3 is the team currently is riding the SL2. But for the SL3, we took out 100 grams from the frame, so it's an 880 gram frame. So it's lighter than last year's bike. It's also torsionally stiffer than last year's bike. And we achieved that by adding some internal ribbing into the head tube areas and the bottom bracket area. So you've got very good torsional stiffness so that when it comes to sprinting, for climbing out of the saddle, there's no give. The power is direct straight to the pavement. Another thing that's common, when you increase stiffness, sometimes you can lose some ride quality. So the way around that is we've made the chain, the seat stays a little thinner, so you still have a very nice vertical compliance, which basically is a nice, comfortable ride. So, you know, long days in the saddle, it's a very comfortable ride, come to the sprint finishes, the increased torsional stiffness allows you to put the power down and hopefully take that stage win. So that's the SL3. <clears throat> you can show a specialized website, specialized.com, go to your local dealer and check that out. So they'll be available in stores, uh, I think around January time. Various levels will have it with a DI2, the electronic Durace, standard Durace and SRAM. Pricing range from $9,900 for the DI2 down to around $7,700 for a SRAM Red. All new for us this year, and this is the first time that we've had a full-on high-end race bike uh, for, for women. With all our women's bikes, it uses women-specific tubing. The carbon is a little thinner. Um, actually, some of the smaller frames are the lightest and stiffest frames we do. So, you know, don't tell your boyfriend that your bike is lighter and stiffer than his. It might upset them. Uh, so what we've done here is some of the design cues that we've taken from SL3 and SL2. Very stiff bike. You know, the whole bottom bracket chain stay area is very big. So I'll give them good acceleration. Still has a tapered head tube. So it's uh, lightweight, very stiff, very responsive, and you know comes with Durace and the new Rapide SL45 wheels. So a great little race bike, and in women-specific geometry, from size 44 up to 56. The 44 it still runs a 700c wheel. So we've had Rubies in the past, which has been tried and tested with Victory Brewing team, the Aaron's team more recently. Um, and now they've got a full-on race bike that's competitive with any of the guys out there. And actually the Amira here is the only bike to ever, women's bike, ever to win the Specialized World Championship lunch ride. We're here with the new Sector, and this bike is offering all the benefits that you'd expect from a Specialized that you've seen in Roubaix, but we've brought the price level right down. So it's an alloy frame with a carbon rear end, and all the things that you'd see on a regular Roubaix with the Zerts inserts in the rear end. Just a very more entry level bike and available as it's an alloy frame, carbon rear end. Comes in various models. This is the uh, this is the comp version and then an all alloy version. So it's a very nice entry level, comfortable bike to ride. Like if you're looking at starting out cycling, you're not really sure if you want to be a racer or just go out and ride, this would be the perfect starting point. So this is the uh, the all new sector. Again, check out the specialized.com and you can find dealers that'll have these in stock.